In this video, I will add logout.js in CodeIgniter. CodeIgniter is a PHP MVC model. It's based on the model view controller. So you can download from here. EdipsLab.com CodeIgniter. Logout.js is JavaScript MVC model. You can download from Logout js.com from here so this is the code igniter website you can click this download code igniter from here you can uh, read the menu skin this menu you can also download the not out js from not out js .com. you simply save link as this is the and save not out of uh, js I already saved here not out of js 3.20 I click already save now I download the code in either here and I zip unzip and put here code in either to put no not out of js I create a folder access this is a new folder access in under code igniter here. So I access, I create another directory called JS and I put the not out uh, this library here. So under code igniter application controller, now controller I create a test the PHP. This is a test of PHP under controller here. You can see here, I create a class test. This is the standard code igniter. You just need to cut first letter should be capital. And you extend it from the CI controller here. And this is the public function, this index, the home page index of PHP. This because I will want to use the base URL and load the help URL. You also can put in the auto load here, but I put the load helper URL. And this is the title. Then I create a view. I load the view here, test. So let's go to test. So under application views, I create a test for PHP. So this test PHP, this test PHP mainly load code from uh, code igniter. So we put a first name, last name here. First name, last name, the date, uh, this date bind is very important in not all the JS. This is a test display. This is the first name, similar last name. I have a two input box here, value. Also, first name, last name, date bind. And I calculate this full name. Calculate the full name. So I create called a JavaScript library here. This JavaScript, I first call a access JS, not all the JS. This is the not out JavaScript library. I call this one. This base URI I already control the color help. This is the function in the helper. Another one I created a new JavaScript library input in the JS. This JavaScript library mainly how to calculate this uh, full name, how to deal with this date by so I already have a JavaScript library access here. JS. This is the one in not all this library I copied. This I create input name the JS. This means first because the not all JS create a MVC, MVC model. We first need to create a simple view model here. This view model, the first name is default is my name. Uh, you can put a default name here. Observable. Later, you will get from the input value. Also, you can last name. You define a full name. This full name 
is the computed. Then it's the it's simply just first name plus last name. Later you need to use library. It's called applying bindings to this for this model applying bindings. Make this the bindings means the bind this view model to our uh, data bind here and test the PHP. After combining, you can see here date bind, then bind to the model. Okay, let's run this code. So this is the my code here. Is the use uh, code under the code in the uh, directory in that the PHP test. I already created test the PHP and the controller. So this is the test the and controller. You can see here, this is the first name, last name, default, set in the model here. This is the two input value. So when you change this input, this one, to another name, return, this two other two value, this full name and this one also change. Because these three names bind by the model, not other JS. So use this not our JS, not only you can separate view a model you also very uh, you can deal with this data the very dynamic so in summary you will combine not all the js and the code igniter we will make our code more dynamic and uh, more model view controller so you can make your uh, code more object oriented. Thanks for your watching.